and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and this is one of the long pending video in my list since I have made this video. If you look at in this screen, I have made a video about this send an email report by role level security. It's like almost a one year ago. And now I'm going to do this part because of frequent requests from you guys. Thank you so much for that about how we can add dynamic rollable security to do this. So before going into that in detail, I just want to tell you one thing is if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Okay. So first of all, the prerequisite what you need for this kind of uh, situations because the last video which I made, I just made a small mistake that I mentioned everything, the prerequisites at the end of the video. So most of the people got confused about that. So the prerequisite for making of this process is you need a Power BI premium capacity or you need an embedded license for this. So if you have a Power BI Pro or even if you have a Power BI premium per user, then both of them is not going to work. So that's the main thing. Um, and after that, if you have a basic power automate, that itself is fine. But again, it depends on the connector which you are going to use. Because the way how I'm showing it right now is based out of the SharePoint. But if it's something which is SQL Server or any other connector which you are going to use in, in power automate, that may require a power automate premium license for that. So you may need to buy additional license to do that. So enough about this one. So let's go into that. So here in the past video, what I just made here, uh, you can just check out this video as well if you want to go in depth in detail about that. So in the identities username section, I we just need to pass a static email ID of the user and this is the data set ID and this is the role level security roles which you have created on your Power BI data set. So as simple as that. So now here is the only challenge for the user that they want to apply the dynamic names, email IDs for the users. So here also there are two things which I'm going to cover in this video. Please stay tuned and till end of this video to know in detail about it. So coming back here. So what I just did here is I just used get items from the SharePoint list. I am assuming that the list of employees in my organization that I am keeping it on a SharePoint list, for example. It can be in your system, in your company or in your organization, it can be in SAP or it can be in Snowflake or it can be in SQL Server or it can be in Excel file. So you can just get all those employee names in a list using this connectors in Power Automate. So right now this SharePoint list is a free one, but if you're using a SQL Server, then it's a premium one. So I'm just selecting my SharePoint address and the list name and after that, what I just did, these are the two things which is export to Power BI report, export to file for Power BI reports and the email ID below to this one, both of them are same when compared to the previous video. So only thing what I did here is basically here in the place of email ID, which I used the Power BI at the 18.com. If you see that my YouTube video, here I used Power BI at the 18.com, right? So instead of this one, I just use this one, which is basically the email ID from the SharePoint list. If I just zoom out here. So the easy way how you can do this is basically after getting the list of item, list of item where you have the employee name and email ID for those employees. And then you need to add export to file for Power BI report as usual way that you need to pass the workspace name, report name and the format and also other settings if you want to add. And here is the main thing which you need to pass, which is the email ID and after that the data set name ID and then their role name, RLS role name. And finally, you need to add an email ID through this in the advanced options. You need to add this email body and then email body PDF so that you can store those PDF information export into email. So, so far so good. Now the only two changes which you need to make is basically here instead of passing a static email ID, you just need to click here and then it's going to give you the list of previous step, which is the get item item. Here I just clicked on email ID. So once I click on that, it has generated automatically apply for each, apply to each. So it's going to apply for each item available on the get items on the SharePoint list and it's going to use that email ID from this one. So this is actually applying the dynamic email IDs and here at the email, 
to whom we want to send an email also i am going to use the same thing click on here and then get this email id from the list so these are the two small changes which i did when compared to the previous video and the one more thing which i want to show you is there are two kinds of requirement basically user needs so one requirement is basically what they need is they want to send out an email to everyone in the organization or uh, let's say for example a bank need to send an e statement on an every month to all their customers so they can get the data of all the customer email id from the system let's say for sql server and then they can just pass the email id here on this particular email section which i mentioned here and then they can send out this power automate flow so through this it can export and then send an email automatically to all the customers so there are certain cases which i recently also got an inquiry like today we have like totally we have 100 employees uh, like 100 customers and only for today they have like 10 customers who purchase the items and only for those 10 customers you want to send out the emails saying thank you email kind of thing so what to do about those things so in order to work on those things first of all the get items this is the main place which we need to play here we need to filter the let's say for example if you have a sql server there you need to select star or employee id from that particular transactions where you will get the email id of that you need to create a view such as that you will get only this list of only 10 customers from your backend server by getting that 10 email ids so that you can apply the same logic here what i used here so in short in summary that's are the two example but when it comes to in summary the only two things which you need to add here is get the list of items from your backend database and then you need to apply that here in the email id identities username area that's it so please try it out um, i have not tried this about because i don't have a power bi premium capacity at the moment so this will work fine if it is not for fine then please let me know in the comment section below if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure to turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video